I'm gonna ask you three questions. And I want you to answer the questions real quick. Three questions. First question, you ready? I want you to sit back and think about when you were little boy, little girl. What did you want to do with your life? What was it that you wanted to be? You ready? You done? Second question. What do you want from your life right now? Going forward, let's say the next three years, the next five years. Now, how old you are doesn't matter. Real talk, I am 50. I stopped drinking. I was an alcoholic. I stopped drinking five years ago. I ain't had a drink in five years. Shit. I was cutting hair for over 20 years. I retired. Shit. I don't care what ailment you have. I got an ailment. I'm older. I got an ailment. I got sarcoidosis. I wake up every day aching in pain. I don't let that stop me from doing it. I don't care what your pain is. I don't care what your age is. What do you want for your life? Next question. What are you gonna have to give up to get? What are you willing to let go of to get a hold of that thing? I had to let go of a bottle. I had to let go of selfish behavior because I was a horrible father, a horrible husband. I used to do a whole lot of stuff I'm not proud of, but I'm happy I went through. My oldest son, 27 years old, did a video crying. Thank you, Pop. Telling the people everything we used to do together, how I raised them. Because at some one point, it was just me and him. When I left his mom, it was just me and him at the, at the house. And he was dirty and I was dirty. But I shifted. He was cutting in another shop. And I had opened up a shop. And I went to my man and I said, I need, come on, you come on with me, son. I need you to see the new me. Because I shifted. And when I brought him over there with me, he was able to see the new. He was able to see what I let go of because I knew he was counting on me. A few years ago, I thought he was going to die. I didn't know if he was going to be here. But uh, we found out he was going to be here. Hey, yo, this is the, the dopest man, the strongest man. He sacrifices everything. When I tell you everything, I mean everything. He taught me how to not have fear for nothing. And I could do anything that I want to do. He taught me how to be a boss, how to be a man. I ain't never had a job, ever. He would never even let me get a job, period. When my mom used to get on, be on his neck, he wouldn't let me do it because he said, that's my son, he won't do that. He gonna be a leader, he gonna be a man, he gonna be a boss. Without you, I wouldn't be the five I am. I wouldn't be the husband I am. I wouldn't be the man I am. And the example that you said is unlike any other. I wouldn't change nothing. I retired two years ago from cutting. He retired last year from cutting. He's 27. I said, yo, you, you gonna retire? He said, yeah, you did it, I could do it. I'm showing him the example. What example are you showing those that's counting on you?